My project revolves around a program that um, most high schools actually used called Virtual Enterprise. A lot of these programs are actually back east, but California is starting to build up um, a much stronger base for that here. And so I'd like to kind of get my classes into the program if possible. This is one idea I've had. And this program, uh, I start off with a quote from Michael Gerber stating, the entrepreneur is our visionary, the creator in each of us. We're born with that quality, and then it defines our lives as we respond to what we see, hear, feel, and experience. It is developed, nurtured, and given space to flourish or is squelched, thwarted, without air or stimulation, and dies. And that's kind of the basis of everything within this project. The project is called Build a Bid. In Build a Bid, students will be asked to um, be part of a decorating company. Uh, furniture decoration, home decoration, that's kind of a big thing even though home sales are down, a lot of people are um, rebuilding or trying to uh, fix their own homes because they can't buy new ones. So this is uh, something we can get into. and It's kind of a type of a job that's more of an entrepreneurial type job, or maybe a small office, not necessarily a huge corporation. So for this particular one, um, I start off with the question the students would be asking, what do I do? Well, team members given three jobs to bid on. Um, one is going to be a beach house vacation home for the pre former president of the United States, uh, Bill Clinton. Uh, second is going to be for a new California location filming site for the MTV's sh uh, show New Jersey Shore. And the third is for a car designer named Chip Fuse. Fuse. Uh, the reason I went with this style or these uh, clients is because I wanted to make sure that the students can find something to be interested in where even if they're not interested in decorating they might be interested in the clients and be able to research them and have a little bit of drive to do well in the project. So some of the ideas to consider are that uh, these three homes are going to be located in the Los Angeles area and we're located in Bakersfield so we have to see if there's any problems that are going to arise by bidding outside of the city. And I have a couple of extra questions listed that they should be um, looking for answers to as they do their research. Uh, down I have a little in red quote stating that they're all going to be writing a reflection piece at the end so they should be keeping a, a log or a journal of what they do every day and who they work with so that that paper will be easier to do at the end. Uh, the different tasks are going to be researchers and of course they're going to be doing the research. Uh, designers are going to be designing the rooms. So they're going to have more of the creative flow. Accounts are going to be keeping uh, track of the estimations, the bids, making sure that whatever the designers want to do, we can actually afford. Uh, the project leaders are going to be working closely with every everybody, keeping everybody in organized and uh, on task. And they're actually going to be the kind of the liaison for between the teacher and the students to make sure that if there's anything that they're missing, they can get onto. Um, and then, of course, there's going to be the presenters. Those are going to be the people who are going to be uh, giving the bids to the clients. And the clients are actually going to be three individual teachers who are going to be helping participate in the project. Some of the tools provided are a program called My Deco, and there's a YouTube video that shows how to use that, and it shows that it's pretty easy and efficient. Um, another program we're going to use is Room Arranger. And again, there's a quick picture. Teacher's page describes a project will take the whole first quarter. It is a pretty big area of a, of a business. Here's the calendar we got to follow. The prior knowledge that they should have is interview skills, because everybody has to interview for their jobs, internet research skills, job titles, and group work skills. And these are a few things that they will learn. Um, here's the rubric we'll be using. And then I added some references that they could look at to, to uh, get some extra research ideas.